In this video, we'll focus on the types of remote connection that let you control your Mac when it's not physically there. Screen sharing is the first option to access a Mac from another Mac on the same network. It also gives users access to files, apps, and folders. Click Preferences, then Sharing, tick the appropriate checkbox to enable screen sharing. Specify who can access your Mac under the Allow Access For section. Memorize or write down your Mac's IP address. While operating the other Mac, navigate as follows, Finder, go and then connect to serve. Type the IP address of your Mac. Click Connect. Request the connection to initiate the other permissions. Allow screen share on your Mac. Now you should be able to remotely log into Mac computers using the screen sharing app on the secondary computer. What's more, you can remotely connect to another Mac with a non-Mac device. You can use an iPhone, Android or Windows PC for example as a second device. While the process is very similar to the one I've shown you already, there are some steps users will need to handle differently. To be able to get access to your Mac you have to install a VNC application on another device. Firstly, on your Mac go to System Preference, Sharing, after that tick Sharing and click Computer Settings. To allow VNC Viewer to control the screen, enter a password that you have to give to your partner for further connection. On the other device download and install a VNC application, after that type the IP address of your Mac into the VNC app on the remote device. Type in the password that has been already created on your Mac previously. That's it, now you can control your Mac from iPhone or another device. Simple and quick, isn't it? Another solution to control a Mac screen is to use the remote login option, a feature that allows a Mac to initiate and receive remote connections from different Mac devices. It replaced the feature back to my Mac, which was removed from macOS versions Mojave and newer. The third solution to control your Mac remotely is using remote management. Compared to screen sharing this feature allows users to grant total remote access to another Mac. Conveniently, the remote management configuration is much like setting up screen sharing and remote login. Choose remote management instead of screen sharing. Specify the level of access allowed in the authorized remote access section. Once you are done with the settings on your Mac, you can use the built-in Mac screen sharing app or the terminal command tool to access the Mac remotely from the secondary computer. Thanks for watching this video, stay tuned.